the time for the ambulance camper conversion has finally come. But before we could start the build on Mowgli, we had to make an important decision. Do we keep it the way it is and utilize what was already built, or do we tear it all back and start from scratch? We decided that if we wanted to build our dream camper for the long term, we had to do a demolition to the bare bones. The whole point of this project was to learn new skills and find creativity along the way. And now, there's no going back. So another day of demolition. We're starting to make some progress getting into the frame. You can see how thin the insulation was before. Uh, just another reason why it's great that we're tearing back all the way to the beginning to start over new. Otherwise, we'd be very cold. While the first few panels were easy to remove, once I got into the cabinets, I realized just how incredibly strong these ambulances are built. With bolts going through the aluminum frame and into the exterior boxes, I spent hours just trying to find the hidden fasteners holding everything together. The impressive through bolts, stapled wood joints, and the hidden fasteners along the way made me have to get creative and look at things from every angle. My arsenal of crowbars, hammers, and power saws were still no match for the engineering of these engineers, making me constantly question my decision of going the demolition route. But like I said, there was no going back now, so on I pushed, hoping I wasn't in too over my head. electrical mess we have here. Now that we're ripping out all the walls and I can actually see what the frame looks like, where all the lockers are laid out, my brain is starting to think a little bit more of how this design is going to go. So uh, a lot of the creativity phase is starting to come into play, but not done with the demolition yet. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I forgot that we still have a roof to go. That's going to be hard with one person. I made sure to cut all the power to the back box to ensure that none of the wires were live while removing the lights and speakers. I took special care to label every wire and its position so that I could easily identify it later on when I start the electrical system. The last thing I wanted was to scratch my head trying to figure out what wire went where and whether it was even important or not. But to be honest, with a complicated system like this, I think mistakes are bound to happen, so that's likely to happen anyways.
So all these bolts here for all the uh, major hardware is uh, underneath. So I'm trying to uh, wedge this here so I can crawl underneath and undo the bolt. Uh, it's a little harder with just one person. So let's see how this goes. After many hours of cutting, unscrewing, prying, and having to get it pretty creative, uh, I'm happy to say that the demolition is officially finished. Takeaway number one. Uh, I think location probably uh, matters a lot when you're doing these kind of builds or uh, demolition. I've been doing it from a parking lot <laughs> of uh, a place I work. So uh, I've been a little bit limited on storage. So, you know, when you're taking out a lot of these cabinets, um, I didn't have much place to do with it. I think in hindsight, I probably would have liked to keep a lot of the wood and a lot of the cabinets that could have been repurposed. I wanted to build everything myself, so I didn't want to keep it like for like, but I think I could have reused that wood a little bit better. But given that this is pretty much my entire storage space right here, I, I didn't leave myself much room. So location kind of helps, but you know, we, we do what we can. Takeaway number two, uh, I actually, I had a hard time deciding if I wanted to take it all back, if I wanted to leave things or not. For instance, the, uh, the walls I kind of wanted to keep, the flooring I kind of wanted to keep, but once I lifted it up, I actually found a, a little bit of water intrusion coming from there, and it had actually soaked into the flooring down below. And uh, so the flooring was actually soaked, and, well, you know, damp and some of the screws and bolts were rusty. So as much as I would have liked to keep the flooring, if this is gonna be a long-term project that I'm gonna keep for a long time, you know, if, if this is gonna be a permanent build, I wanna make sure that the foundation is strong. Takeaway number three, work smarter, not harder. Uh, these guys right here have been my best friend throughout this whole thing. Did a lot of this uh, by hand. I probably could have used a little bit more hand tools to just kind of cut through things, but I don't know. It's kind of fun to use the, uh, the hammer and pry bar. So a lot of the wood was actually stapled together instead of screwed. So I was just trying to wedge things off. Um, it Overall, I'm very impressed with how well these things were built. When I first opened it up, uh, I, I thought it was gonna be easy and I was wrong. I just chose the easiest compartment first. Uh, I had to get pretty creative because nothing was just kind of screwed into each other. It was actually bolted on one side and then the other side would be underneath the seat well. So um, you do have to be creative. Uh, a lot of it I was doing on my own, which made it really hard. I had to get creative and kind of wedge a wrench on one side against the wall, go to the other side and undo it. So if you have more people, that definitely helps. And my final takeaway, is overall I'm just so impressed with how these things are built. Now that you can see the base foundation, it's it's really solid. Um, it's also really nice for planning of how I'm gonna build it because before I didn't really have a solid idea. I had a few ideas of maybe Murphy bed there because that's where the bench was. But now that a lot of the cabinets are out of the way, it kind of opens up my mind to what the actual foundation is and I'm not just trying to replicate that. So um, now that I can see where everything is, I have kind of my constraints of what needs to stay and what I can build around. So uh, it opens up a lot of creativity to the next phase of, okay, now how am I gonna plan this? So glad to say demolition's done and let's go on to the next phase.